No. <laughs> we're going to, um, what we're aiming for in this case is, and that's why I mentioned very briefly that the Congolese government that I had gone to Kinshasa very recently to the capital to meet with the senior officials in the government to talk about how um, the Congolese government could be at the center of the solution. Because, I mean, no, as we learn over and over again throughout history, no solution is sustainable if it's externally, purely externally driven. Invasions, colonialism, all these kinds of things eventually crumble because unless you have local support. So in this case, the Congolese government becomes the agent for change because there's an incentive for the Congolese government to change because otherwise they're going to lose the extraordinary revenue that exists now. Or, and that they will benefit from uh, legal trade in these minerals, which they can tax and then use for the building of the state. So we want to have the Congolese government and the Congolese people, especially around the mining town, to have, be at the center of the solution and not have to have, uh, have troops be sent from, from foreign lands to, to enforce these kinds of things. But um, that does require, because we're talking about companies and governments, and they do, uh, uh, they do try to cut corners, as we know. So that's why you have the independent auditing system. You have to have the, that level of independence to verify uh, uh, that, indeed, companies that are saying that they're, and, and, uh, uh, that they're, saying that they're, they're selling these conflict-free minerals are, indeed, conflict-free. A note from mom is not going to suffice in this case. So that's the, that's the, 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 the I think that the challenge that we have is to create what they call in almost every business stakeholder solutions, where the people who stand to benefit will be at the center of that solution and with a clear set of incentives for <coughs> taking the right action and a clear set of consequences for continuing with the status quo.